السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Yesterday we have learned the grammar part of this book, this lesson, and today, inshallah, we will learn the lesson from the book. This is lesson number 14 of the book, Drusul Hawadul Arabiya, book one. al fitiyatu al fitiyatu what is the meaning of the al fitiyatu who will tell the meaning of al fitiyatu young lady anyone else a uh, young man the young man the young man this is plural the young man this is a marfa definite and this is plural jama assalamu alaikum amin says wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Ahadul fitiyati. Ahadu mean one. One of the young men. So ahadu is mudaf. Al fitiyati is mudaf ilay. Ahadu is mudaf. And al fitiyati is mudaf ilay. It is majroor here. Ahadul fitiyati, one of the young men. Kaifa haluka ya ammi? Kaifa haluka ya ammi? How are you, O oh my uncle? How are you, O oh my uncle? So this uncle is paternal uncle. This uncle is paternal uncle. Hamidun ana bi khairin. I am fine. Walhamdulillah. Kaifa halukum? How are you? Man antum? Who are you? Man antum? Who are you? Kaifa halukum? What is the kum here? Sorry? What is whom here? Tamir Muttasil. Tamir Muttasil. Whom is Tamir Muttasil for Mukhatib? Mukhatib Muzakkar Jama. For Mukhatib Muzakkar Jama. Second person, masculine, plural. This is? The mere mutasil attached pronoun for the second person, masculine plural. Man antum, who are you? Whom is attached pronoun of antum? Antum is a separate pronoun. Antum is separate pronoun. And whom is attached pronoun? Nahnu abna uddukturi Musa. Nahnu Abna Uddukturi Musa. We are we are sons of the Dr. Musa. We are sons of the Dr. Musa. Abna Uddukturi Abna is Modafun Alay. And this is plural of the Ibnun. This is plural of the Ibnun. And it is Modaf here. And Adduturi is mudafun alayhi and Musa it will remain unchanged because it is mabniyun nahnu abna uddukturi Musa we are the sons of the doctor Musa ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban 
वेलकम अबू कुम सदी योर फादर अबू कुम योर फादर सदी माई फ्रेंड योर फादर इज माई फ्रेंड योर फादर इज माई फ्रेंड आईना अम्मु कुमु शेखु ईसा आईना अम्मु कुमु शेखु ईसा सो दिस इज कुम नोन इज साइलेंट हेयर दिस नोन इज दिस मे मे साइलेंट एंड बिकॉज इट इज फॉलोड बाय द अलिफ लाम सो दैट्स व्हाई वी विल गिव इट फत्ता अ दमा सो दिस स्पून विल टेक द मा उम्मुकुमु शेखु ईसा यो वेयर इज योर फादर योर अंकल प्रोफेसर ईसा अ शेख प्रोफेसर वेयर इज योर अंकल शेख ईसा अहदुहुम वन ऑफ देम हुआ मरीदुन ही इज सिक हुआ मरीदुन ही इज सिक ओल आना फिल मुस्तशफा नाउ ही इज इन द हॉस्पिटल ओल आना फिल मुस्तशफा नाउ ही इज इन द हॉस्पिटल शफाहुल्लाह मे अल्लाह गिव हिम शिफा मे अल्लाह गिव हिम शिफा मन हाजिह तिफलतुल लतीब आकुम मन हाजिह कुतुना she is our sister who khutuna she is our sister so this na is mudafun alai <clears throat> this is attached pronoun of the nahnu attached pronoun of the nahnu is u na masmuha what is her name ismuha laila her name is laila aina baitu kumul jududu baitu kumul jududu because it is kum and followed by the flam so it will take the damma aina baitu kumul jududu baitu is mudaf baitu is mudaf and kum is mudaf ilai and al jadidu is the nath of the baitu al jadidu is the nath of the baitu and baitu is nath baitu is marfa and baitu is marfu that's why its nath is also marfu baitu this is al baitul jadidu and <clears throat> because bait is mudaf it cannot take the alif lam by to nal jadid our new house by to nal jadid our new house so here is the same by to is mudaf and na is mudaf ilai al jadid is na al jadid is na of the by to new house by to nal jadid qareebun min al matari our new house is near the airport our new house is near the airport yeah aa antum fil madrasa tis sanwiyati aa antum fil madrasa tis sanwiyati are you in the high school asanwati high school so this antum is plural are you in the 
high school high school or secondary school you can use both are you in the high school or secondary school ahaduhum one of them la no nahnu bil jamiati nahnu bil jamiati we are in the university we are in the university ana fi kulia til muhandisati i am in the faculty of engineering i am in the faculty of engineering wa mahmudun fi kulliyati tibbi and mahmud is in the faculty of medicine and mahmud is in the faculty of medicine wa ibrahim fi kulliyati shariati and ibrahim is in the faculty of islamic law wa yusuf fi kulliyati tijarati and yusuf is in the faculty of the commerce and yusuf is in the faculty of the commerce man zalikal fatal ladhi fi siyaratikum this siyarati is mudah because of the, this preposition fi man zalikal fatal ladhi fi siyaratikum who is that young man who is in the in your car who is that young man who is in your car who was amili he is my friend man i mean aina hua from where he is from where he mean aina hua from where he hua mean in kaltara he is from england mean in kaltara he is from england why this is this in kaltara is not majroor here it is mabni no ustaza uh, yes. sir sorry Okay. <laughs> yes, please. Non Arabic name. Yeah. It it is mabni, na sir. It is. Uh, it doesn't change its. Uh, it it's is non Arabic mabni. name. And, it is, yeah. It is mabni or non Arabic name. It's mabni. Okay. What? Why it is mabni? Uh, because mabni it is non Arabic. Arabic. not arabic why it is mabni what is the reason that it is mabni uh is a special noun is name of country cannot change i uh, can change why cannot change name of the country name of the country also can change certain countries do not take any change sir so it is oh. one of them why don't why they don't change why they are the mabni what is the grammatical reason Uh, because the arabs have not uh, have used it like that sir uh, non arabic names they are mamnu minasar they are not mabni okay they are mam so there most of them they are mamnu minasar they are not the mabni anyone else will tell me what is the reason that in kaltra is mabni it's so because uh, i mean it was ending word is alif so that's why yes the nouns ending with the alif they are mabni the yes, noun sir. like isa musa yes, yes sir got it yes the nouns ending with the alif they are mabni they don't change masmuhu what is his name Sir, okay, yes. that means just now you said fil mustajfa. So the alif of surah is because uh, also the same reason like this one. Yes, yes, mustajfa is also mabni. It will not change. The nouns ending with the alif, they are mabni. So this is alif 
And this is also Alif Maksura. We call it Alif Maksura. The, uh, the Ya without the dots, that is not Ya, that is Alif. Like Musa, Isa, Musashfa. Even Kubra, Husna, all those are also yes, Mahdi, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. When they, when they are, when we use them as a noun, then they don't change. So, any name, Arabic or non-Arabic, any name ending with the alif or alif maksura, it is mabni. It is indeclinable. It will not change. It uh, not in the, It is constant. It is mabni. Ismuhu will mab, what is the difference between the Mabnu Minasarf and the Mabni? Any one of you will tell me what is the difference between the Mabni and the Mabnu Minasarf? Sir, Mabnu Minasarf, it will only not take Kasra. It will uh, be in two, it will be diptote. Whereas uh, Mabni, it will not, it will be only in one fixed form. No matter irrespective mm -hmm. of whatever comes before it or after it, it will, it will not change its appearance. The Mabnu Minasarf or the nouns, they don't accept the Tanveen. They don't take the Tanveen. And when they are the Majroor, they take Fata. They don't take Kasra. So their Majroor and Mansub case is the same. Mamnu Menasar nouns, their Majroor and uh, Mansub ending is same. While the Mabni constant, they never change. Either they are marfu, they are the marsub, they are the majroor, they remain unchanged, they remain constant. Like Fatimatu will be diptote, na, sir? It will not take a tanween, but it can take a fatha yes. and a fatima, Fatimatu. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> like this muhu, viliyamu. So this viliyamu is not, uh, uh, you can say, it is not mabni, it is mamnu menasar. So when it will be mansub, it will it will take the fatta, and when it will be majroor, it will also take the fatta. Is muhu Williamu, his name is William. And this is non-Arabic name. So non-Arabic name, they don't take the tanween. Non-Arabic names, they don't take the tanween. La no. A Muslim a Muslimun huwa. Is he Muslim? La, no, who are Nasranian? No, he is Christian. No, he is Christian. Abuhu Ustazi. His father is my teacher. Abuhu Ustazi. His father is my teacher. Ismu Huddu Kuturu Idwardu. His name is Dr. Edward. His name is Dr. Edward. So, this Edward is Mamnu Menasar uh, because it is non Arabic name. So, it will not take the Tanvi. Fadakum Allah ilal Islami. May Allah guide him towards the Islam. Fadakum Allah. May Allah guide him ilal Islami. Guide. Sir, guide them both, na? Huma will be Masanna. Ada Huma. Yeah. Guide them both. Guide them to the Islam. May Allah guide them to the Islam. Okay. Azhabdum ilal mustashfa. Did you... When to did you go to the hospital? Liziarati Ammikumul Yauma to visit your uncle Al Yauma today. So, did you went to the hospital to visit your uncle today? So, here you can say Al Mustashfa. Ila is a proposition or feature, and it is still Al Ilal Mustashfa. Because it is ending with the Alif Maksura. This is Alif Maksura. Broken Alif. 
to understand it uh, alif maksura it is also alif but it is broken alif so uh, any name ending with the alif maksura or with the alif it is constant so same here because of ila uh, mustashfa remain unchanged ilal mustashfa did you went to the hospital to visit your uncle today naam zahabna yes we went yes we went okay so this was our lesson for today any of you have any question about this lesson any of you want to ask anything about this lesson Who will read Sir, this? what are the other reasons for the diptot? When you said is a non-Arabic um, name, then the ones with Thai Marbuta and what else? Uh, there are uh, several reasons of the Mamnu Minasar. Okay. So when we will learn the lesson about the Mamnu Minasar, we will learn all the reasons. All right, sir. Okay. So, so far is the non-Arabic names, they are Mamunu Menasar. They don't take the Tanveen, except yesterday we have learned. If, if the noun is three-letter noun, non-Arabic noun, if it is a three-letter noun, and the second le uh, letter of the noun is Sukun, And the noun is masculine. Say. There are three conditions. Three letters noun. Second letter is spoon. And the noun should be masculine muzakka. Then it can take the tanveen. Like no. Sir, example. Sorry. Okay. Okay. No, you said it, sir. Example, I was asking. Loot. I got it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yesterday we have learned. I will. I can show you again for a while. Here you can see. One of them was Jarjun. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. So, for example, Nuhun Lutun, Jarjun Khanun, and so on, so on like this. What, what is Nuhun is three letter name. It has three letters. Lutun has three letters. Jurjun has three letters. Khanun has three letters. Then the second condition is second letter is spoon. So they have spoon on the second letter. And the third condition is noun should be a masculine. Noun should be muzakkar. So they can take the name. Okay, sir. Just that. Adamu, Ibrahimu, Ishaqu, Ismailu. They are our non-Arabic names. They don't take the name. So, sir. Yes. Williamu is because four letters, is it? Yes, Williamu is four letter. That's why Williamu don't take the name. Okay, who will read this one? Sir, sometimes we use Muhammad and Ali Yun. They Muhammad have the and Ali Yun, they are the Arabic names. Okay. Arabic nouns, they take the Tanveen. Yes, sir. Uh, Umaira. Yes, sir. Okay. al fitiyatu Assalamu Alaikum. Hamidun. Wa alaykum as salamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Ahadul fityatu, one of the young men. Kaifa haluka ya ammi? How are you, O oh my uncle? Hamid. Ana bi khairin walhamdulillah. I am good by the praise of Allah. Kaifa halukum? How are you all? Man antum. Uh, when, when, we are... translate, when we translate, we don't translate all. All okay, just, how are you? Just, just, all we just uh, mention you to make you an easy understanding. 
So com it okay. it means already it's plural. Okay, sir. How are you? Man antum, who are you? Ahaduhum, one of them. Nahnu abnau dukturi Musa. We are the sons of Dr. Musa. Hamid. Ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban. Welcome. Abu Abu kum sadiki. Your father is my friend. Aina ammu kumush shaykhu Isa. Where is your uncle? Uh, Sheikh, you said, sir, uh, teacher, you scholar. Professor Isa. Professor Isa Ahaduhum, uh, one of them. Who are Maridun? He is sick. Who will Ana Fil Mustashfa? He is now in the hospital. Hamid, Shafahullah, may Allah heal him. Man Hazi Hit Tiflatul Lati Ma'akum. Who is this young, uh, who is this uh, baby girl who is with you? Ahaduhum, one of them. Hiya Uktuna, she is our sister. Hamid. Masmuha, what is her name? Ahaduhum. Ismuha Layla, her name is Layla. Hamid. Aina, Aina Baitu Kumul Jadidu, uh, where is your new house? Uh, Ahaduhum. Uh, Baitunal Jadidu Karibum Minal Matar. Our new house is near the airport. So why Ahmed. this why this Al Jadidu is taking uh, Nama? Uh, because it is the sifat of Bait. Because so, it is the adjective of the Bait. Yeah. Okay. Ah, antum fil madrasati, ah uh, fil madrasati uh, sani vi uh, sanu vi ati sanavi ati. Okay. Uh, uh, antum fil madrasatis sanaviyati. Uh, are you in uh, high school? Uh, Sir, I can't see. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah. La nahnu bil jamiati. No, we are in the university. Ana fi kulliyatil handasati. I am in the faculty of engineering. Wa mahmudun fi kulliyatil tibbi. And Mahmoud is in the faculty of medicine. Wa Ibrahimu fi kulliyatish shari'ati. And Ibrahim is in the faculty of Islamic law. Wa Yusufu fi kulliyatit tijarati. And Yusuf is in the faculty of commerce. Hamid. Man zalikal fatal ladi fi sayyaratikum. Who is the young man who is in your car? Uh, Mahmoud. So, uh, 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 where is the predicate? Where is the khabar? Uh, the predicate will be Man uh, Man will be the subject, right, sir? And the rest, entire thing will be the predicate? Okay, so, no, man is khabar. Wait, wait. No, man is khabar. Okay, okay. So where, is, where is the Muqtada? Uh, uh, sir, this uh, Ishara will become Murakab Ishari, Zalikal Fatal Lazi will become the uh, Muqtada. Zalika is Muqtada, Al Fata is Badal. Okay. Al, so, what is Fi Sayarati? Uh, that will be Mutalike Khabar. I mean, uh, Ajal Majroor. Yes, it is Jar Majroor. But what is grammatically what will say? Allah, what is the Allah? Uh, so Allah is Ismul Mausul hmm. and uh, peace uh, Allah. So you tell me Sila, that is called Sila. Okay. Allazi is Ismul Mosul. This is a relative pronoun. Allazi is a relative pronoun. And yes. after the relative pronoun, there is a description. There is yes. Silatul Mosul. After the Ismul Mosul, there is a Silatul Mosul. There is a description. So Fi Sayaratikum is the description of the Allazi. Okay. And it, it relates to the uh, uh, noun before the 
الذي سود اوكي سو ذس از ديسكريبشن ذس از سيلات الموصول اوكي من از خبر ذلك از مبتدا الفتا از از بدل الذي از اسم الموصول في سيرتكم از از سيلات الموصول اوكي ديسكريبشن اوف ذي الذي it is mamnu mein sirf it don't take the tanween okay sir a muslim huwa is he a muslim la huwa nasran a muslim mun huwa okay a muslim mun huwa is he a muslim la no huwa nasraniyun he is a christian abu hu ustazi his father is my teacher ismuhu dukturu idwardu His name is Doctor Edward. Hada hum Allahu ilal Islam. May Allah guide them both to Islam. Ah, the habtum ilal mustashfa. Are you going to the hospital? Li ziyarati ammi kumudiya. No, 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 no. Ah, the habtum fil madi past tense. Ah, the habtum. Yeah, yeah. Have you have you been to the hospital? Yes. Have you been to the hospital? Did you, go, did you go to the hospital? Okay. Did you go to the hospital? Li ziyarati ammi kumul yauma to visit your uncle today. Naam, zahabna. Yes, we went. So why this ammi is taking the kasra? Ah, uh, because of the li, no, alfajar. No, so, so because of the li, taking an ammi is of. Because of the li, ziyara to is taking the kasra. Why ammi is taking the kasra? Ah, uh, sir, so because it is um, uh, to visit your uncle. It is mudafile also. It is a compound. It is playing the role of both mudaf and mudafile. Ziyara to ammi. This is mudaf and mudafile. Yeah. So ammi is mudaf ilai. Ammi is here mudaf ilai. That's why it is taking the kasra. Okay, sir. Okay. Li ziyarati ammi kumul yauma. So ammi is also mudaf and kum is mudaf ilai. Okay, sir. Jazakallah. Okay. Sir, okay. I had a little query about that badal you mentioned there. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. I think I must have joined late, or I missed the badal explanation. I mean, when mm -hmm. we say badal, what do we mean by it? You had said that. Uh, I think uh, anzalika, that question where I had uh, with the ismu mausul and sila, you mentioned uh, one word as badal. Mm -hmm. Badal is uh, the the noun uh, uh, after the uh, ismu leshara, the noun with the alif la. It's called badal. It's called badal. Okay. Okay, sir. Just a second. Amen. Okay, Naam. Yes, Zahabna, we went. Any of you have any question? <clears throat> we have uh, two minutes. So, if any of you have any question, you can ask. Then tomorrow we will do this exercise. Why is it same, sir? Uh, as Zahab... And uh, Naam Zahab, both same. Ah, uh, is a part. This is particle of interrogation. Ah, uh, is a particle of interrogation. Her full is the faham. Zahab is Madi. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, uh, change the sentence into the question. A is a harf. It changes a statement into the question. So, A zahabtum, did you go? A zahabtum, did you go? So, it is, we are using for the question. So, there is a question mark at the end. And zahabna means, yeah, we, we went. So, in the zahabna, there is no question. It is an answer. 
Uh, so my question that. is, yes. why above is go, why below when? Sorry? Why you, you why uh, the English is go for Zahab above? Why when for Zahab below? When we use did, then we the did we use the first form of the verb? Did you go? When you, we use did, then we use first form of the verb. And here, Zahabna, we went. So here we are not using did. That's why we will use this uh, uh, 